The beef between Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy is starting to get serious. You're either Team Youngboy or Lil Durk. We even have people from each team now beefing back and forth with each other to even Lil Durk reaching out to members of NBA Youngboy's team waving a white flag. So this all begins when Lil Durk releases his song, Aha. The song featured sneak disses towards NBA Youngboy that goes as followed. Now we've been sliding through they blocks and they don't know we have, but he got hit and we can't claim it, but I can show his. Guys are really acting like that since my Brody passed, just got out the feds, you bring up my M's with your police, I told Vaughn to leave her alone, she post on the fans. So these lines are clearly at NBA Youngboy, as Dirk mentions, guys acting like they're really like that since my Brody passed, as Lil Dirk has already mentioned this before towards NBA Youngboy several times. Lil Durk previously wrote to NBA Youngboy saying, don't claim it if you ain't do it, you still a B, hashtag the voice. As NBA Youngboy keeps on sneak dissing King Vaughn in his music, practically claiming as if he's the one who did the act towards Vaughn. Lil Durk even says the line, I told Vaughn to leave her alone, she post on the fans. Referring to one of NBA Youngboy's ex-girlfriends, Janaya, that King Vaughn was talking to behind the scenes, which started the NBA Youngboy boy beef with Vaughn over a year ago. This is the same beef to why people believe that NBA Youngboy set up King Vaughn in the streets of Atlanta so then he would run into Quando Rondo, an artist signed to Youngboy's label. But NBA Youngboy was able to make a response to Dirk just 8 hours after the release of his song. NBA Youngboy had lots to say about Dirk and many other rappers in the industry such as Gucci Mane, Lil Baby, and Boosie. NBA Youngboy releases his song titled I Hate Youngboy and the lyrics goes as followed. Youngboy they gonna get you, you better stop dissing them, tell them guys they know I ain't scared of them. How are you talking when nothing ain't gone about your cousin them, Quando got no filter and he say that, they gon get with him, clean up on aisle O, oh, youngin let that blow, and my brother let that stick blow, no that's mine, he called me a B, no that's India, that be your girl. So I had to change a lot of the lyrics, but you understand the point, as these lyrics are clearly a response towards Lil Durk, as Youngboy mentions Lil Durk's cousin Nooski, who sadly passed. NBA Youngboy even says, clean up on aisle O, referring to the list of people from O Block that have been passing lately, such as Nooski, D Thang, and King Vaughn. Lastly, NBA Youngboy mentions Lil Durk's wife India, calling her out for being a B. But while all of this beef was going on, King Von's management then announces the release of his new album. What It Means To Be King was set to release on March 2nd, 2022. Once it was announced, NBA Youngboy then linked up with the baby to create a collab project titled Better Than You, and it would release on the same day as Von's album. This announcement got reactions from King Von's boys over at Oblock. That's when we saw Boss Top post to his Instagram this photo saying, King Von's better than both of you, Friday. A week after their album's release, the sales then came out. King Von, being on pace to sell 65,000 units first week, doubled the sales projections of Youngboy and DaBaby. Their collab project titled Better Than You then sold 30,000 units first week, proving that King Von was in fact better than both of them. Lil Durk obviously had to respond to this, saying on his Instagram, I dare a man to drop on my date, March 11th, 2022. But anyway, Von did 65k. So this is a very clear message to NBA Youngboy, as Youngboy announced two weeks ago he would be releasing a solo album sometime in the month of March. This album would then complete his contract with Atlantic Records. Lil Durk is trying to get NBA Youngboy to release an album on the same day as him, so that way he can also have a competition with him for album sales. The same way that NBA Youngboy tried to ruin King Von's day with his album, What It Means To Be King. But the boys from Oblock and OTF made sure to let NBA Youngboy and DaBaby hear about it. As we saw Mimo 600, an affiliate of OTF, tweet, I can't blame DaBaby, he thought that man was gonna save his career. Referring to the fact that DaBaby apparently needed NBA Youngboy to revive his rap career, this is when we saw DaBaby reply to Mimo with this message. Y'all towel boy funny, y'all on the internet playing, trying to run your stripes up while y'all's big dog is in my DM, waving the white flag. Y'all boys must not be on the same page over there at OTF, but check this out. It ain't a team, city, boys, or neighborhood in the world scary enough to make the baby pick and choose who to get money with. I ain't one of them, and if you don't like it, then do something. 
I played it cool cause y'all boys wanna make it about y'all and I don't speak on people that passed because I'm on it for real. Every day I wake up ready to teach a man like you. So long live him, at King Von, you got my respect. He stood on business, no excuses. It was just another man there ready to stand on business too. That's how we're living and that's what it is, ain't it? But the rest of you internet boys trying to be cool off of another man's name, we are not the same, my boy. Just ask your big dog. Now go call on some real guys to step for you. I'ma be right here, ready to rock out. So this is where DaBaby mentions, y'all on the internet, playing trying to run your stripes up while y'all's big dog is in my DM, waving the white flag. So this is directed towards Lil Durk. Many fans saw this as a cry for help from Lil Durk, as he is the big dog, leader of OTF, and mainly the rapper you think of when anyone mentions Oblock. What probably was supposed to be a private conversation between Durk and DaBaby quickly became public, as members of OTF wouldn't drop the beef for trying to ruin King Von's album day. Lil Durk then responded to DaBaby by putting on his Instagram story saying, Man, what? in the smirk voice. And as I mentioned, many people called this a cry for help from Lil Durk, as maybe he thought he was losing the beef between NBA Youngboy and him. And with all of this rap beef between NBA Youngboy and Durk at an all time high, it almost makes you wonder if this is just some sort of industry beef. Making both rappers go viral with each song they drop as they just continue sneak dissing each other in singles. This is a very common tactic in the music industry and a lot of things that are kept quiet to the public. What happens is the disses go viral online, millions of fans then need to hear about it so they go check out the single and then they start waiting for the other rapper to respond back and then they all go listen to their single and then it's just non-stop back and forth. Not to mention that with NBA Youngboy exiting his contract with Atlantic Records, putting out his last album in the peak of beef with Lil Durk could easily help it sell more than over 150k units first week which could then lead him into signing an even bigger deal worth way more money as he has the numbers to show for it. That's why I strongly believe maybe Lil Durk was reaching out to DaBaby in the DMs to just kind of tell him what is really happening, as I doubt he would be waving any sort of white flag as DaBaby was mentioning in his comments. A lot of you would be very surprised about how the music industry really works. At the end of the day, Think of it as a TV show. These rappers are at the top, trying to be entertaining online, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram, that way they get more followers, more attention, and hit the trending tab of social medias. They will then leverage all of that clout that they have for that time being into singles and albums that they release. Very similar to what Takashi 6 9 did and why he went on such a huge run hitting Billboard after Billboard hit. If you guys want me to make a video discussing the truth about the industry, leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new.